That's... That's quite the nifty tune. And let's add custom music discs to Minecraft. New topics added to the Forge and Fabric courses, such as tameable and writable entities, projectiles, throwable projectiles, and boats, as well as first steps to biomes and dimensions. Courses linked in the description below. Oh, right! We find ourselves back in Intelligence War, and in this tutorial, we're gonna be adding a custom music disc to Minecraft. Let's jump right in. So for a custom music disc, we of course need the custom sound event. This is going to be a normal sound event that we've added previously. So we can literally just duplicate this and we can say this is the bar underscore brawl. And the name over here is going to be the bar underscore brawl as well. That's the name of the sound event or the music. And of course, we want to add the OGG file as well as add it to the JSON here as well. Let's add the OGG file. So this is going to be the bar underscore brawl dot OGG. Once again, make sure that this is a proper OGG file. You can't just rename an MP3 to OGG. You have to properly convert it and then also make sure that it is in mono, not stereo. Otherwise, you might run into issues such as the music discs being able to be heard on the entire server. Then when it comes to the sounds.json, it looks a little bit different, but, you know, most of it is going to be the same. This is a bar brawl. This is, of course, the name of the sound event that we've created. And then it's going to have sounds here as well. That's that's awesome. But then it has a an object over here, an JSON object with the name tutorial mod colon bar underscore brawl. And then a stream, which is going to be equal to true. So the bar brawl name right here, of course, refers to the OGG file. While the stream here in this case basically just makes sure, hey, this is interpreted as a stream. This just makes sure that the file is basically being used in a different way than the other files. And then we also need the bar brawl music disc PNG. Let's just immediately add this because, of course, we are going to need an item for this as well. So let's start with adding the item. So in this case, it's just going to be a normal item. I'm going to call this the bar underscore brawl underscore music underscore disc. And this is, of course, going to be... The same with a name here, bar underscore brawl underscore music underscore disc, which is going to be a music disc item. First parameter of which is going to be an integer that is the comparator output. So basically, if you put this into a jukebox, what is going to be the comparator output? Then we're going to have mod sounds dot bar brawl. No, 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 this is the bar brawl. There you go. And then the last parameter is going to be the number of seconds. So the length in seconds, this should be 122 and it is. And also for the item settings, we're going to add the max count of one. I feel like that is makes a lot of sense. Let's add this to an item group over here as well. So this is going to be the mod items over here. There you go. That's one. And this is going to be the Barbara music disc. Awesome. And funnily enough, this is almost everything that we need. Let's actually also add the translation. And then the last thing is just going to be the data gen. So the translation is a little bit different because in this case, you have both the Barbara music discs as well as the description over here. So with a dot DESC, we also have the description. This is just sort of when you hover over it, it just tells you who basically made this. And then I also added here the CC0 to basically show that this is in public domain. So you can, in theory, also use this in your own mod as well if you so choose. And then when it comes to the data gen, we actually want to add this to the mod item tag provider over here as well. Absolutely freaking awesome. So we want to call the get or create a tag builder item tags dot music discs. And then we want to add the mod items dot bar brawl music disc. There you go. And if you want this to drop from a creeper, you can also add it to the creeper drop music discs tag as well. And then when a skeleton shoots a creeper, then your custom music disc would also drop. Awesome. When it comes to the model, well, that is as easy as just making another generated model over here. And that is actually all that we need in this case. The most important thing is, of course, the normal things concerning how to add the sound. And then when it comes to the item, uh, the, the important thing is to add it to the music discs item tag. So let's run the data gen. And once that has been completed, we can jump into the game and listen to our custom music disc. All right, finds us back in Minecraft. And as you can see, the Barbara music disc has been added. And if I put it into the jukebox, there we go. And if I fly away, it gets quieter and quieter until you can no longer hear it. And if I go back, there we freaking go. So we have the music disc added to Minecraft. And that is... How easy it can be. And that's it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll finally tackle the highly anticipated topic on how to make a custom mob. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.